Many Dragon Ball fans are under the impression that the only English dubs available for them to watch are from the Funimation cast, the Ocean Group cast, or the Harmony Gold cast. And when it comes to domestic companies, they really are. But what about other countries that speak English? On this edition of Dragon Ball In Def, we talk about the dub that is, amongst the hardcore DBZ fans, the most infamous. It's Big Green! Let that child alone. <laughs> In the future, I do plan to cover the history of the Harmony Gold, Ocean, and Funimation dubs, but for now, let's talk about Big Green. The origin of the Big Green dub is, in fact, quite far away from us here in North America. The Big Green dub is an English language dub of Dragon Ball Z produced by a company called the AB Group for broadcast in the United Kingdom. AB Group produced the dub, but a company called Bridge Entertainment were actually the ones in charge of the dubbing process. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the Funimation Z dub, which actually utilized the scripts used in the Latin American dub of Dragon Ball Z during the initial run, with many unnecessary and, let's be honest, infuriating changes, or the scripts that Funimation received from Toei for their Dragon Ball Kai dub, the Big Green dub used scripts directly translated from the French dub of Dragon Ball Z, which were, eh, not very accurate. Power is really extraordinary. One thing is sure, they're from another world. And you say you're the prince of the space warriors? I've done an extensive amount of research on the Big Green dub, and details are very sparse. Apparently, Bridge Entertainment is, or was, who knows, a Dutch company that worked with Toonami UK to distribute Dragon Ball Z. To this day, the identities of the voice actors themselves remain a mystery. Based on their accents, they don't appear to be American, Canadian, or even English, but what makes this whole story more bizarre is that when you watch the credits of any of the Big Green Dub productions, it's the freaking Ocean Group credits. Wait a minute, this doesn't sound like Scott McNeil. Go on, what in the world are you doing here so far from home? <laughs> The Big Green dub uses the original Japanese score, most likely because they couldn't afford a Bruce Faulkner or a Shuki Levy to do exclusive music. Indeed, the entire project comes out extremely rushed, poorly performed and acted, with little or no direction or continuity behind it. In fact, it sounds like there's only about six people doing all the voices in some sweatshop in the middle of nowhere. Personally, while I have no love loss for the original Funimation dub of Dragon Ball Z, comparing this to that is like comparing ice cream to horse manure. It's that bad. But it's to the point where it's so bad that it's actually entertaining in that train wreck sort of way. Big Green dead? <laughs> Now, why is it called the Big Green Dub? Well, because of this guy, Big Green himself. Yes, Big Green was named after Piccolo, which is why if you watch Team Four Stars Dragon Ball Z Abridged, then Day is referred to as Little Green. Those guys know a lot of the insides of Dragon Ball that only the real super hardcores know about from years gone by. Why is he called Big Green? Who knows? But that's not where the misnamings end. Goku is sometimes called Goku or sometimes called Son Goku, as if it was just one word. Krillin isn't Krillin or even Kuridin, it's Clearin. Roshi is referred to as Old Man in the Big Green dub. Gohan and Vegeta are correct, other than their names are pronounced Gohan and Vegeta. The Eternal Dragon is called the Sacred Dragon, and the Saiyajin aren't Saiyan or Saiyan, they're space warriors. What's funny is that in the older movies, they're called super warriors. But once they actually became super, 
They were mysteriously changed to just being space warriors. Goku's Nioi bow is not the power pole. It's either the magic baton or the magic stick. But we haven't gotten to the wackiest name change of them all. The show is called Dragon Ball, about the Dragon Balls, but the Dragon Balls are not the Dragon Balls. They are called the Crystal Balls. How stupid can you be? Also, every single attack, regardless of the user, is the Kamehameha, or sometimes Magic Beam. As far as what Big Green actually did, they didn't do everything from the information I have gathered. They dubbed the original three Dragon Ball theatrical movies, the first nine Dragon Ball Z movies released out of order, the two TV specials, Bardock and Trunks, and there are other episodes rumored to exist. These were broadcast on Toonami UK around 2005 or 2006, but a lot of British Dragon Ball fans were already exposed to the series through other means. There were DVD releases all across the Netherlands, but only DBZ movies 2, 3, and 4 were released in the UK from the Big Green version. But oh, there's more. If you think the Big Green dub is hilariously bad, let me introduce you to the Malaysian dub. Hmm, if I don't eat rice, the power won't come. If Goku is with us, it will be finished so easy. People! Please don't misunderstand Kakarot. I did not come to hug you. This dub was created by a company called The Speedy Group and has been referred to as The Speedy Dub by some and was made for distribution in Malaysia. No, folks, this is not a Team Four Star DBZ abridged type parody. This was meant to be legitimate. Even less is known about the Malaysian dub. There have been debates amongst the hardcore DBZ community for years about the legitimacy of the dub and whether or not it was actually authorized by Toei. The physical copies of the dub sound and look bootleg as fuck and can actually still be bought online. The voices are utterly hilarious to listen to and I found so much joy in watching this dub even more so than Big Green. How about the fact that Paikuhan or Paikon is named Piccolo in this dub? Because, you know... All green people look the same. I became a more powerful man now. The big get tester? The Saiyans aren't even called Saiyans or Saiyans. They're called Saiya people, which in a roundabout way is actually more accurate than Saiyan. But here's where it gets weird. Goten is called Goku. Chi Chi is called Bulma. Frieza is called Faili. Goku himself is called Gohan sometimes. Videl is called Kami, which sounds way too much like Kaming, if you hear them say it. And my favorite, Vegeta is called Beta, which is quite fitting in some ways. So if you need a laugh, check out the Big Green and Malaysian dub. But don't say I didn't warn you. And if you get even half as much enjoyment as I did from these, you can thank me later. Just remember, if you don't eat rice, the power won't come. I'll catch you down the road. Son Goku, someday I'll surely settle up everything with you.